How's it going? Paul Herber here. Today I'm going to go over tips and techniques for fishing a Ned rig. We're out here at Lake Havasu. This has been a proven technique time and time again for putting fish in the boat, especially under pressure conditions, clear water. It's great for kids. Any novice person can do it. You can go and you can win tournaments on it as well. It's really a do it all bait and today I'm gonna to go over some of the things that I like to do with it. It's a pretty basic technique. There's not a whole lot to it. You can really fish it any way you want. You can swim it, you can hop it on the bottom, you can drag it. It actually works really great on bed fish. There's really no wrong way to fish it. I've caught them from dragging it in 20 feet to swimming it in three feet. You're gonna use a little mushroom head this is the one I like to use. It's got this barb keeper. Really helps keep that bait up, especially when you're trying to cast it on light action rods. Um, next, you take your bait. This one is a Z-Man TRD. You can really use any of your favorite stick baits, cut it down to size. And I also like to use a four inch stick bait. The whole thing, when I'm fishing for larger fish. Say I need to upgrade and it's still pressured conditions, but you need that bigger bite. A lot of times that four inch, little bit bigger bait will get you a bigger bite. But generally you wanna use about a two and a half to three inch section of worm, whichever you prefer. So it's very easy to rig, anybody can do it, but there are some things that you need to pay attention to. When you're rigging this, you really wanna make sure that you go in straight and you have everything lined up so that you have a good fall, things don't get all crazy. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make is that they will rig it crooked and the bait won't sink right, it won't lay right on the bottom, and it just doesn't seem to get bit as well. You can still get bit on it because this bait just works that well, but generally you want to really focus on getting this thing as straight as possible. And here at Lake Havasu, clear water, a lot of smallmouth, this thing is deadly. Those smallmouth come up, boom, light wire hook, get them every time. Works really well, especially for people who don't necessarily feel bites as well as an experienced angler. This thing, once they get it in, they're gonna get hooked. So when fishing the Ned Rig, you're gonna use a finesse technique. Spinning rods work great, everybody can use them. I personally use the Akuma Helios SX 7.2 light action spinning rod with the Akuma Helios SX 30 spinning reel. 15 pound braid is a good general for your backing and six to eight pound fluorocarbon leader. About anywhere from six to 10 feet a liter material works really well. And again, I can't stress enough the ease of this technique. Cast it out, swim it, hop it, drag it. You really can't go wrong with this technique. To learn more about the gear that I'm using for fishing the Ned Rig, head on over to akumafishingusa.com.